Hey guys, Miss Need here. So today we're going to be working on Block 4, Topic 2, Lesson 3, which is actually an equivalent fraction game. Just another way for you guys to practice making equivalents, which will help you with your work with common denominators, because our next lesson is going to be adding together fractions to create numbers greater than 1. So this is just another layer of practice for you guys so that you can get super comfortable with finding those equivalents that allow you to add those fractions with unlike denominators together. You are going to need for this game your dice, your fraction dice. Again, I've just taken a regular die from home. I've put one half on it, one fourth. I've written one eighth twice and one sixteenth twice to cover the six sides of the die. Between that and my board, I am now ready to play. So guys, the way you play this game is you want to be the first person to get rid of their entire hole in their model. So what you do is when it's your turn, you start by rolling the dice. Now when I roll the dice, I rolled 1 16th. So I have a couple of options. If I had a 1 16th piece here, I could take that out. But because I don't, this is where we're going to use this page in our book where we have to show how we're going to trade in uh, pieces to make equivalents. So because I only have one half size pieces, in order to trade that in for sixteenths, I'm going to have to make equivalents down here to create sixteenths so I can take that away. So I go from halves to fours to eighths to finally sixteenths. Now that I've traded that in, that's going to be my turn. So I'm going to look right here at this one half, and I'm going to trade in that one half piece for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight sixteenths. And that's the end of my turn because I'm allowed to either take pieces out, which I do here, I can remove a piece if I have that size piece I rolled, or action two, I can trade in my pieces for equivalence. So now I have equivalence in sixteenths. Because I've broken these down as small as possible, I should be able from this point forward to actually just remove pieces. So if I was going to record what I did in my video on my page here, I'm going to say that I rolled a one-fourth, so I, or I'm sorry, a one-sixteenth. I'm going to grab my pen here. So I rolled one-sixteenth. That's what I rolled on my turn. Sorry about my strange computer writing. I did not remove any pieces because I didn't have a 1 16th, so I exchanged my 1 half piece for 8 16th size pieces. And that means that I'm done. If I had to skip my turn because there was nothing I could do, I could put my check mark here. Okay, so now when it's my turn again, I roll my dice. Here's my dice. I rolled my dice, and this time I rolled one fourth. Because I have 16th size pieces over here, I can figure out how many of those are equivalent to one fourth. We know that if we cut a half in half, we create fourths. So if I cut this right here, I have four on this side, and I have four on this side of this half. So 4 sixteenths, 1 fourth, is equivalent to 4 sixteenths, and I can now take on this turn those 4 sixteenths out because I removed 1 fourth or the equivalent, which is 4 sixteenths. So if I record this on here, I rolled 1 fourth, and I removed four sixteenth size pieces, which is equivalent to one fourth, meaning that I now have this amount left to still remove in the game. Okay, one more time, it's my turn, I roll. This time I rolled one eighth. Okay, so if I think about an eighth, what is equivalent to one eighth? 
So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to erase that one half from my first move. I'm going to write one eighth here. And I need to make an equivalent to sixteenths. So I know that eight times two is 16. So then I'm going to multiply the, the numerator by the same. So I get to cross out two sixteenth size pieces. And over here, I write that I had one eighth. So I removed two sixteenth size pieces. And my partner and I keep playing like this until one of us gets rid of all of our pieces and wins the game. So guys, as you can see, you can either download the pages out of the book and use those, or you can make yourself a model. I always prefer a model because I really like to see my equivalent fractions. And this way you can practice all these different ways that one half can be turned into various equivalents, one fourth can be found as equivalents, one eighth, and even sixteenths can be found as equivalents. This also helps you when you're simplifying because on a lot of this we had to work backwards from those sixteenths and we were kind of simplifying in the end. Four sixteenths is simplified to one fourth. So those skills that you're practicing with your teachers can really be reviewed in the context of this game. Remember, you want to get that dice and write those uh, fractions on it. The direction pages will be in here as well so you can see them more clearly. And again, those pages are in your downloadable book if you need them. All right, I'll see you guys later this week for another 180 lesson. Have fun and practice. I'll see you soon. Bye.